Finding a job is sales. It's a very strategic and multi-part process. And whether you're selling high-tech instrumentation or real estate or professional services, or you're looking for a job, the sales cycle is always the same. There are three major parts, planning and prospecting, qualifying, presenting, and gaining commitments, and follow-up. For planning and prospecting, this breaks down to market qualification. Is the job you're looking for out there? How can you fit into the current available job market? Are there any skills that you need to develop or improve in order to find this job? The pre-call planning. Get your resume and your cover sheet in order. What industries and what businesses should you call on? You need to do research of companies where you have interest and who do you need to talk to? Then there's qualifying, presenting, and gaining commitment. And this is where you start presenting yourself to employers. You need to determine needs. Do they need you? Do you want to work for them? And can this be a good fit? And then you're going to present solutions and make a presentation. You need to get face to face with the hiring manager. Remember, in sales, you're doing a presentation of the product and why it's the right product for them to buy. But in the interview, that is your presentation. Although the hiring manager has a series of questions for you, it's really important that you present all of the reasons that you want to work there. This is also the time to ask enough questions so you know that you're on the right employment path. Gain commitment. Don't be flippant. Be professional, but get a commitment for either a second interview or to be a continuing part of the hiring process. Rarely do people hire on the spot, but here's where you get a commitment to take this hiring process to the next level. And then follow up. After you've gained commitment, following up is to close the sale. This is the time that you demonstrate the appetite portion of the three A's. And if you don't remember what three A stands for from that video, it's attitude, aptitude, and appetite. Throughout all of these, you're going to be gaining and building rapport. And this entire video series is about building value, which is the cornerstone of building rapport. And here's some other tips. First thing, introduce yourself when you meet. Have your potential employer's best interests at heart. This is an opportunity to show that future employer that you're valuable. Establish eye contact. Very important. When talking to somebody, hold their gaze for about 5 to 10 seconds. Any longer than that can seem creepy or odd. So break the gaze by looking off to the side or slightly above their head. Don't look down, as this may indicate the end of your conversation or a sudden lack of confidence. So try it now. Hold your head still and think about the last time you did something or went somewhere. You're going to notice that your eyes may move up or to the side. When your listener sees this, they are thinking that you are remembering something and will continue to listen to you. Relate. Don't lecture. When you speak, make it conversational. Don't give a speech or a narrative. Find out what's important to them as it regards to their business. Have your resume memorized. Have examples of how you have helped your previous employer and how it will relate to them when they hire you. If you used acronyms or terms that were specific to your last job, don't use them unless you can explain them immediately. Dress appropriately. Avoid using humor or language that might be offensive. Toastmasters International suggests avoiding language or topics best left in the bathroom, the barroom, or the bedroom. Also avoid stereotypes of all sorts.